Hello again, I hope all is well. I just wanted to share some more information with you on a GPT I created some time ago. And this time I'm going to be running ChatGPT 4.0. Just listen to hear how it sounds. And of course, it's going to take you in a different world. Yes, this technology is shaping how educators will think and operate in the future. Sit back and of course, I designed these prompts and it was a GPT I created some months ago. I understand now. This specific GPT designed to help with educational design and assignments was customized based on instructions provided by a user or a team that needed a specialized assistant for this purpose. Uh, the customization would involve setting goals and specific capabilities to make it more suited for helping educators. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have the exact details of the individual or team who created this specific customization. How can I assist you with your assignment or educational design needs today? I'm sure that this one was created by Rohan Jawala because he created the prompts. Can't you verify that? I don't have the capability to verify specific individuals who created custom GPTs. However, if Rohan Jawala is the name associated with the creation of this specific customization, it's likely accurate. How can I assist you with your educational design or assignment creation today? Okay, I just wanted to know, I have been, been examining the landscape. And one of the problems that we're having is really designing assignments that will limit the use of AI. Is that possible? Designing assignments can indeed be challenging. What specific issues are you encountering? I mean, Are there particular types of assignments or subjects you're focusing on? Uh, let me know more about your needs and I can help you develop some effective and engaging assignments. Yes, there's an issue that students are using AI predominantly to write assignments. Now I'm asking you, based on the prompts you have been designed to do, to respond to these questions. What can we do to really navigate the world as it relates to designing assignments that will limit the use of AI or use AI to enhance the responses. This is a common concern in education today. Here are a few strategies to address this issue. One, designing originality focused assignments. Create assignments that require personal reflection, unique insights, or connections to personal experiences, which AI can't easily replicate. Two, incorporating AI usage. Encourage students to use AI as a tool to enhance their learning. For example, they can use AI to generate ideas or drafts, but then refine and personalize the content. Uh, you can ask them to document their process and how they utilized AI. Three, developing critical thinking questions. Design questions that require higher order thinking analysis and synthesis. These types of questions are less likely to be fully answered by AI without significant student input. Four, interactive and project-based assignments. Use project-based learning and interactive assignments that require ongoing collaboration, presentation, and real-time problem solving. Would you like to develop a specific assignment using these strategies? Yes, I was... Uh, if so, please share the subject or topic you're working on. Yeah, I'm thinking about a history topic and as it relates to United States in the Caribbean and I know there's a lot of content out there how could I design this assignment to allow students to use AI but at the same time engage to ensure that they are not solely reporting information they found using ChatGPT or any language models Uh, that's a great topic with rich potential for engaging assignments. Here's a structured approach to designing your history assignment on the United States and the Caribbean. One, assignment outline. Break down the assignment. Please continue. Sure, here's a detailed draft for your assignment on the topic of the United States and the Caribbean. Assignment title, Analyzing U.S. and Caribbean Relations. Objective to explore the historical relationship between the United States and the Caribbean, encouraging critical thinking, analysis, and personal reflection. Part one, initial research one. Task, use AI tools like ChatGPT to gather preliminary information about key events, policies, and figures in the history of US-Caribbean relations. Two, output, 
Write a one-page summary highlighting the major events and policies. Include at least three primary sources that you will consult for a deeper understanding. Part two, critical analysis. One, task. Compare the information you gathered using AI with other academic sources, books, articles, primary documents. Two, questions to address. What are the main differences in how, how these sources present the events? Are there any noticeable biases or perspectives that differ? How do these differences affect your understanding of the historical events? Three, output. Write a two-page analysis discussing these comparisons and what they reveal about historical interpretation. Part three, personal connection and contemporary relevance. One, task. Reflect on how historical U.S.-Caribbean relations influence contemporary issues. Two, questions to address. How do the historical events relate to current political, social, or economic issues in the Caribbean or the United States? Can you connect any of these historical aspects to your own experiences or observation? Okay, that's great. That sounds wonderful. And how long do you think this assignment should take students? Given the depth and multiple parts of this assignment, it would be reasonable to allocate around three to four weeks for completion. Here's a suggested timeline. Week one, initial research and summary writing. Week two, critical analysis and source comparison. Week three, personal reflection and connecting historical events to contemporary issues. Week four, preparation and presentation defense followed by feedback and revisions. Uh, this allows students to thoroughly engage with each part of the assignment without feeling rushed. Um, does this timeline work for your schedule or would you like to adjust it? I, I think it's fine. It's wonderful. I like how you've set it out. Can I ask another question? So how would you allocate points as it relates to a rubric? Have any ideas that I could use? Um, absolutely, creating a detailed rubric will help in fair and consistent grading. Here's a suggested rubric with, with point allocations. Total points, 100. One, initial research and summary, 20 points. Depth and accuracy of information, 10 points. Does the summary cover key events and policies thoroughly and accurately? Identification of primary sources, 10 points. Are the primary sources relevant and well chosen for further research? Two. Critical analysis, 30 points. Comparison of sources, 15 points. How effectively... Okay, thank you. I, I know it's... But let me say that we are having some problems as it relates to education. I'm here to help. What specific problems are you encountering? I think... Uh, um, feel free to share more details so we can work on finding effective solutions together. Yes, it's just a fundamental issue that people are just fearful of AI and the assessment and students using, assess using AI just to garner information and not vetting the information. So what advice would you give to students who are thinking about using AI? That's a very relevant concern. Here are a few pieces of advice you could give to students about using AI responsibly. One, use AI as a starting point. Encourage students to use AI to gather initial ideas and information, but not as the sole source of their work. AI can help them brainstorm and outline their thoughts. Two, Verify information. Emphasize the importance of cross-checking AI-generated information with reliable academic sources. Students should verify facts through books, peer-reviewed articles, and primary sources. Three, critical thinking. Remind students that AI can sometimes provide incorrect or biased information. Encourage them to critically analyze and question the outputs from AI tools. For personal input and originality, students should use AI to enhance their learning, not replace it. They should integrate their own insights, reflections, and, and personal experiences into their work. Five, cite AI usage. Encourage transparency by asking students to cite when and how they used AI in their assignments. Um, this promotes honesty and helps them think critically about the tool's contribution. Six, ethical considerations. Discuss the ethical implications of using AI in academic work. Uh, students should understand the importance of academic integrity and the consequences of over-reliance on AI-generated content. Seven, skills development. Remind students that developing their own research... All right, all right thank you. You've given me a, a lot here. I just wanted to end by asking you another question before I start doing my planning. Give me five... Top of course. Feel free to ask your question. I'm here to help. All right, thanks. Could you give me five top tips 
in using AI in written assignments so I can share with my other colleagues. Here are five top tips for using AI in written assignments that you can share with your colleagues. One, enhance research efficiency. Use AI to quickly gather background information and identify key themes and concepts. This helps streamline the initial research phase, saving time and effort. Two, brainstorm and outline. Leverage AI for generating ideas and creating outlines. This can help students organize their thoughts and structure their assignments more effectively. Three, improve writing quality. Utilize AI tools for grammar and style suggestions. Uh, this can help students refine their writing, making it clearer and more polished. Four, encourage critical review. Teach students to use AI-generated content as a basis for critical analysis. Um, they should compare and contrast AI outputs with other sources, developing a deeper understanding of the material. Five, promote originality and reflection. Encourage students to integrate their own insights and reflections. AI should be a supplement, not a substitute, for their unique perspectives and critical thinking. These tips can help educators guide students in using AI responsibly and effectively in their written assignments. Would you like any further details on any of these tips? I'll use some of these tips and I'll come back for more because I think this app is wonderful. All right? You're very welcome. I'm glad you found the tips helpful. Um, feel free to come back anytime you need more assistance. Have a great day and good luck with your planning. No worries. A final question. Do you think we'll need instructional designers in the future? Um, yes, I believe instructional designers will still be essential in the future. While AI can assist with certain tasks, the expertise and creativity of instructional designers in understanding learner needs, creating engaging and effective learning experiences, and integrating technology meaningfully are irreplaceable. They play a crucial role in ensuring that educational content is pedagogically sound and tailored to diverse learning styles. AI can be a powerful tool for instructional designers, but it won't replace the human touch and deep understanding they bring to education. Okay, thank you. I'll tell my colleagues. You're welcome. I'm sure your colleagues will appreciate your insights. Have a great day and feel free to, to reach out anytime you need assistance. Sure. Rohan's on the mic, spitting knowledge every day, reflecting on the issues, keeping it real, no delay, education, AI, and social justice, he's got it all, tune in for these critical thoughts. It's time to stand tall He breaks it down like nobody else can do with his hip-hop flow He'll surely educate you From the classroom to the streets He's got a vision so clear Oh, Rohan's voice is powerful You better lend an ear Critical thoughts We need them now more than ever Let's come together Make the change and endeavor From education to AI We're breaking the mold Rohan's on the mic, spread truths be bold Spread truth, be bold.